What's up everybody? It is Franco with Show Me Sound bringing you another video. Today we are talking about the importance of being on your own dance floor at your wedding and the magic that that can create. After doing this for nearly 14 years, I've seen it time and time again when the couple is on the dance floor it can take the energy level from a six to a 10. Just by being on the dance floor, you are going to increase the excitement and energy in the room. And today we're going to break down uh, some of the reasons why that is. Your wedding is essentially the commitment of togetherness that you have created with the love of your life. So when you're out there holding it down on the dance floor with your partner in crime, you're basically showcasing that to every guest in the room and you are celebrating that commitment. Even if you are someone that dances with two left feet, like myself, being out there on the dance floor with your significant other only creates and amplifies happiness in the room. And that positive energy definitely is going to be contagious. I have worked a number of weddings where maybe one of the two in the couple really enjoys dancing and the other one, it's not really their thing, but the magic happens when the two of them are out there together. One thing that you'll notice on the dance floors is it's pretty common for the bride's friends, the bride's family, to hang out with her on the dance floor and vice versa. The groom's friends, the groom's family will be hanging out with him on the dance floor. But again, when you can bring both of those parties together, not only does it create a more energetic dance experience by having this many people on the floor at the same time, but then it starts to have a ripple effect on everyone else in the room. This brings up a point that is somewhat related to psychology and herd mentality as it applies to a dance floor. Anytime a group of people is in the minority, they might feel a sense of discomfort, especially as it pertains to dancing. The first couple of feet out on the floor, being surrounded by a bunch of eyeballs, paying close attention to what they're doing, they might feel uncomfortable, but what we are trying to do is flip that script and we're trying to get as many people as we can on that floor so then the minority becomes the people that are still waiting to join the party happening in the center of the room. What once may have been an uncomfortable experience to be out on the dance floor just with a handful of people could soon flip into being uncomfortable sitting on the sidelines while everyone else is having the time of their lives out on the dance floor. If we hit that critical mass, everything starts to move almost on autopilot in our favor. Building a dance floor is kind of like toppling dominoes. Once it starts to build that momentum, the dominoes start to topple quicker, AKA people get out onto the floor quicker. And there is no better way to build that momentum than to have bride and groom out on the floor at the same time. The last point that I want to hammer home here is the memories that you are creating with your boo thing throughout the course of the evening, being able to record those dance floor memories. If you've hired a photographer or a videographer is going to be so great to look back on after the wedding. Not only will you want to be able to look back on and see all of the celebratory moments that you've had with your friends and your family, but being able to capture those moments of togetherness, especially on your dance floor, is really going to be something special to look back on. I understand that dancing might not be everyone's cup of tea, but leading that charge, getting out there and showing your guests the type of party that you want to have, leading by example is going to make all of the difference. Being on the dance floor together sets the tone and the pace for the evening. It creates a celebratory, atmosphere and it really encourages your guests to get out there and join you and have a great time. So in conclusion, I encourage you to lead the charge and set the pace for one of the best nights of your life. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.